Want to start a daily podcast but think that it's way too much work? Well, what if I told you that with Google's new Notebook LM, you can automate 98% of it? In this video, I'll show you how you can launch a daily podcast that practically runs itself. Everything from content creation to automatically publishing on all the major platforms. And you can do all of this in under five minutes a day. Podcasting is one of the best ways to build a super engaged audience that's ready to buy. In fact, 66% of podcast listeners make over 75K and have a college degree. And in the US, 135 million people listened to a podcast just last month. So let's dive in and I'll walk you through how to create your podcasting machine step by step. So the first step is to choose what your podcast will be about. So a topic based on your business or interests. Next, to create our first podcast episode, we're going to find some news articles or blog posts that relate to the topic we want to talk about. Now, you could use any news aggregation site like Google News, or maybe you follow certain blogs that you like, and it really doesn't matter. All you need to do is find the content that you want to turn into a podcast. Now, for my example, I'm actually going to use one of my own blog posts. So if you do have blog posts and you want to make that go even further, you could make your blog posts into a podcast. And in fact, I made my YouTube video into a blog post and now I'm going to be using my blog post to turn that into a podcast. That's how content repurposing is done. So all we need to do is copy the URL and then we are going to head over to notebook.lm. This site is a free site made by Google and you can sign up for free if you don't have a Google account already, but most likely you do. Then once you log in, you just need to go to create new to make a new notebook. And this is what we're going to be using to create our podcast from our article. Now you have a number of options here, but for this example, let's go with a link. Now, all you need to do is hit insert and it's going to start grabbing that. Now you see here on the right side, deep dive conversation. All you need to do is hit generate. So we've literally made this podcast in two clicks, like one paste and one click here to generate the podcast. Now this can take up to five minutes. And while we wait for this to load, I just want to show you, I also could have just pasted in the YouTube video directly into this without even making a blog post out of it. So whether you're using your own content or someone else's, it doesn't have to be an article. You could literally also find YouTube videos that you want to then turn into a podcast. Okay, perfect. So our podcast is done and let's listen to it. All right, everybody, welcome to another deep dive. Today we are talking about something that is really exciting. Um, it's it's kind of mind blowing, to be honest. And uh, we've got an expert here with us who's gonna help us uh, kind of break it down and understand it a little bit better. It's this new tool called WebSim AI. Yeah, WebSim is amazing. And it's uh, it's really changing the game. It, it basically lets you create all kinds of marketing materials yeah. without needing to know how to code. We're talking landing pages, we're talking newsletters, we're talking even games. Yeah, it's it's wild, the stuff that you can make. Like I was reading about this, uh, this example in one of the articles where somebody just typed in, create a landing page for a Google ad campaign offering a free piano lesson, and boom, just like that. WebSim whipped up a landing page. So you can see how that sounds like two people really speaking. And if you watch my video, you'll see that's the exact example I gave or one of the examples. And so it's taken all this content and made it really conversational. I was blown away when I saw this and I won't play the whole episode for the sake of time, but you get the idea. Then all you need to do now is hit download and you have your podcast episode. And one thing you'll notice is that this is 12 minutes, 31 seconds. So what Google does here is it figures out the right length based on the amount of content you give it. So if you want really long podcast episodes, you just have to give it more information. Let me show you. So here's a loyalty technology company I work with. And in this case, I wanted to create something around loyalty marketing for the holidays. So I gave it this article. I gave it this article and I actually gave it this entire guide 
written about this subject of holiday gift giving and marketing. So then it took all of those sources and made a 30 minute podcast out of it. I'll play a few seconds. Welcome to this deep dive into holiday marketing strategies. Yeah. Um, this time we're focusing on loyalty programs. Yeah. And how to make them really stand out. Right. During the most important shopping season of the year. That's right. We're going beyond the basics using marketing guides, articles, and some really interesting research from Cognitive, oh, okay. a company that's doing some innovative work in this space. Okay. You get the idea. That's so impressive. It's insane. And this is what's going to help make your podcast stand out a bit because if you just use one article, then it's going to seem like you kind of just took someone else's work and just recreated it. Right. But if you take three or four news sources for the same story, then you're now making a more transformational piece that's aggregating all this information for the listener. And it's just a lot more valuable. So I would recommend you use at least two or three sources, but you could just do one if you wanted to. So I did promise this would all be done in under five minutes. And I think so far we're maybe at about one or two minutes, not counting, of course, waiting for it to process. But in terms of your workload right now, you just got to find the article, put it in here, click go. <laughs> so maybe that's one or two minutes right there. So now that we have our first episode, we now need to create a catchy name for our podcast. So again, we're going to use AI for this. And you could say, I'm creating a podcast that features a female and male host that discusses the latest news trends and insights around AI tools. That's the topic I picked. The audience is online entrepreneurs. Give me some catchy podcast titles right here. You can see it just spit out a whole bunch and you could obviously change this prompt to your topic, but just make sure that you also tell it who your audience is and then you can get something there. And I really like this AI unlock. That's pretty cool. The AI edge and so on and so forth. We could just pick the one we want. Let's say we go with the AI edge. Just copy that and put it aside. Next, we need to create the hosts for our show who will be speaking. So that female and male voice that the audience is listening to. And there's a few ways we can do this and it'll just make our podcast seem a lot more personable. And then we'll use those images to create the template for our podcast cover for every episode. So there's a few ways to do this. There's like a dozen free solutions out there. Art Guru is one of them that I like to use and so is Stable Diffusion. But all you would need to do is say a female podcast host late 20s. Let's just say that's what we want. And you can choose to say, say uh, you want it to be a photograph, right? Like a photograph style, hit generate. And you can see that's one I already generated, but I'll show you how quick it is. Then we can grab that same prompt and let's do this time. Let's do mail on art guru while that's loading. And so, Hey, that looks pretty damn good. Looks so real, right? So, okay. Awesome. Let's grab her. We downloaded that. And just so you know, you get five credits here with art guru and you get 10 credits here with stable diffusion, but we're only creating two images. So you don't need to pay for anything. And this limit refreshes every day. So you literally don't need to worry about any of this. So let's say we wanted to go with this guy right here. Looks pretty good. And don't worry about this watermark. It's not going to be shown in what we're going to make. We're going to clip this in a smart way that it won't matter. Cause if you see, it's only in the bottom, right? Regardless of which one you use. Okay. So now that we have our two hosts, and I gave it the most generic prompt here, but you could have specified a different age, their race. If you want them to look a certain way, like trendy, or if you want them to look professional, the more descriptors you add, the better. Next to make our podcast cover, you can do this a bunch of different ways, but Canva is amazing. It's free. You probably already have an account, but I'll link it down below if you don't. So sign up, it takes a few seconds and then go to create a new design and then type podcast cover. Then Canva is going to load a whole bunch of podcast covers. And you now just need to find one that has two people in it. Like, Hey, okay. This one looks like it makes sense. And of course I'm doing this quickly. You want to obviously think about your brand colors and click, and you can change this in just one click, just like that. It's like the easiest visual editor you'll ever see. In fact, if we wanted to bring this guy in. We just drag this in here and replace it done and her and then replace it. Now this feature is experimental and it's not available to everyone, but Canva does also have the dream lab and I think it produces phenomenal looking things. So like, I really like this one right here. So maybe I'll use that. 
but you get the idea. And again, you'd wanna match the branding, right? Cause this looks photorealistic and here she looks like more like an animated character. So another thing to keep in mind is to specify the type of style you want. You can see that right here. If you wanna make it look photorealistic and wanna give the impression that it's real people, you never wanna lie, right? But you can leave it up to people's interpretation, then you could do this style. Or if you specifically wanna say, hey, no, I want this to be clear that this is some sort of avatar. Um, and a lot of people do faceless content, so that's fine too. So you could do something like that. So just think about your brand and all of those things and how you wanna portray your podcast. So now that we have our characters, we just need to, as I said, change this up here. Make sure you change around your brand colors, but make sure you update this every week or every day or how often you wanna publish your podcast. So obviously this is episode one, leave that the same. If you wanna launch it at a certain time or date, enter that here and then enter your name here obviously and then you want to put a brief about what this episode is about but how are we going to get the episode title and the brief well what we're going to do is go back to notebook lm and just have it do it for us so we see here this is the episode we generated for this web sim tutorial let's say you just simply say i'm making a podcast from this audio give me a catchy episode title. And you could also say the name of my podcast is this, and my audience is this and that, but I'm just gonna keep it simple here. You could say that. And marketing without code, the WebSim AI revolution. Perfect. So now you would go back here and update this like that. I'm doing it quick here and obviously do it cleaner and better and formatted and whatnot and just doing it quickly. And then you wanna obviously take this bit, which is like the, the excerpt here, the blurb for what it's about, throw that in there and boom, we have our podcast cover. Just go to share, you can download that. And now we have our podcast. We have the cover, we have the title, we have the description for it, and now we're ready to publish it everywhere. So the easiest way I found to do this is to use a tool called Transistor, and I've linked it down below. You can start a 14 day free trial, so you can actually do all of this for free, publish two weeks of podcasts, and see if it makes any sense for you. So click the link below to get set up with that. And Transistor makes it super easy. So you'll see right when you get here, create a new podcast, what's the title of your show? Well, we know it's the AI Edge because ChatGPT wrote that for us. And what's the description? Well, it's this, stay ahead with the smartest tools for your business. Now, you might wanna make one more version of this you made here because I made it the episode specifically, but obviously you would just go in here and change it to be the one-time general podcast header, or you could make a second design if you want for the sake of time. I won't do that, but you get the idea. It's really easy to do, like I showed you. Then you pick your category, so mine's about business, and my secondary category is technology, the author. Again, here, I would never recommend that you deceive people, so I would say, you know, who are the show's creators? Well, in this case, it's Olivia and Sasha. I don't even change their names yet, but, or whatever names you picked for your characters. Um, and then you could add some more info in here, the name of the owner, okay, it's me, it's my company is the owner you could add an email doesn't really matter and there there you go the AI edge is ready add your first episode what is the title of the episode well good thing Google already wrote that for us go to transistor done where's the audio file well we downloaded that already so you grab that upload that and you can fill in a little bit more information here what about the artwork well here you go done and the notes in the description of the show if you want, you could actually come back here and say, write me a podcast description for this one. You literally go here, you do this, you paste it in here, again in Notebook LM, and remember, Notebook LM has the context of the entire article and the podcast it made, so just like that, done. So you grab that, throw it in Transistor, obviously format it correctly, you don't want it to look 
like this use the bullet points function here instead of you know this right here um, and so on and so forth and take out the references right here but you get the idea I'll keep it simple here for now and there we go keep it simple for now clean it up make sure it makes sense and then you can fill in a little bit more information here if you want like adding in a YouTube version of this if you want but let's leave all of that aside and all you need to do is save and publish now and now it's gonna take a few moments to publish and then when it's published, you can actually go here and you can see your podcast. All right, everybody, welcome to another deep dive. Today we are talking. It's insane. So this will be your transistor version of the podcast. It's your natively hosted within transistor. It's a real podcast. It's got the description, everything. It looks legit, right? Uh, yeah, this is really, really cool. I'm, 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 I was super excited when I figured out how to do all of this. But we want to take it a step further because we don't want to just leave it here on Transistor. We want to send it to all the major podcast platforms so that it'll be discoverable. And this is the reason why I wanted to show you Transistor. So if you just go to distribution, most of these, except for like Apple, which takes a little bit more manual work, they're difficult like that. And that's no matter how you publish. There's no way around it. You always have to do it manually. But anyways, and it gets better after you do it once, but you literally have to click just one button to send it to Spotify like this. Done. And then it'll be ready and it'll email you when it's complete. Likewise, you could do the same with Podcast Addict. Done. And so on and so forth. Deezer, one click. Done. And so, like I said, of course you want to do the work for Apple here. And there is a bit of a process here and that's just the way Apple is. But most of them you can do in one click. So that's how easy it is to create a podcast for any topic you're interested in. To recap, you just need to grab an article or video, whether that's your own or someone else's. And again, I recommend you get more than one. Then take that, throw it into notebook.lm, get your podcast, while you're there, ask notebook.lm to write that title and description so you have it right there. And then head over to Canva, grab the template you've made, change around the little bits and copy in what Notebook LM just gave you. So you customize that for each episode. And then you go into Transistor and you paste all of that, upload it all, hit submit on each of the distribution platforms in one click. And that's how you're gonna be able to do this in literally under five minutes, like I promised. If you got something out of this video, do me a favor and hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more content just like this. And we made a podcast about a tool called WebSim, which lets you create almost anything with one prompt. If you wanna see how that's done, check out this video right here.